Spectral efficiency, spectrum efficiency or bandwidth efficiency refers to the information rate that can be transmitted over a given bandwidth in a specific communication system. It is a measure of how efficiently a limited frequency spectrum is utilized by the physical layer protocol, and sometimes by the media access control. Link spectral efficiency The link spectral efficiency of a digital communication system is measured in bit HZ, or, less frequently but unambiguously, inch per hertz. It is the net bit rate or maximum throughput divided by the bandwidth in hertz of a communication channel or a data link. Alternatively, the spectral efficiency may be measured in bit symbol, which is equivalent to bits per channel use, implying that the net bit rate is divided by the symbol rate or line code pulse rate. Link spectral efficiency is typically used to analyze the efficiency of a digital modulation method or line code, sometimes in combination with a forward error correction code and other physical layer overhead. In the latter case, a bit refers to a user data bit. FEC overhead is always excluded. The modulation efficiency in bit S is the gross bit rate divided by the bandwidth. Example 1, a transmission technique using 1 kHz of bandwidth to transmit 1000 bits per second has a modulation efficiency of 1 per hertz. Example 2, a V92 modem for the telephone network can transfer 56,000 bit S downstream and 48,000 bit S upstream over an analog telephone network. Due to filtering in the telephone exchange, the frequency range is limited to between 300 Hz and 3400 Hz, corresponding to a bandwidth of 3400 to 300 equals 3100 Hz. The spectral efficiency or modulation efficiency is 56,000 slash 3,100 equals 18.1 per hertz downstream, and 48,000 slash 3,100 equals 15.5 per hertz upstream. An upper bound for the attainable modulation efficiency is given by the Nyquist rate or Hartley's law as follows. For a signaling alphabet with m alternative symbols, each symbol represents n equals log 2 m bits. N is the modulation efficiency measured in bit symbol or BPCU. In the case of baseband transmission with a baseband bandwidth B, the symbol rate cannot exceed 2 B symbols S in view to avoid intersymbol interference. Thus, the spectral efficiency cannot exceed 2 newtons per hertz in the baseband transmission case. In the passband transmission case, a signal with passband bandwidth W can be converted to an equivalent baseband signal with upper cutoff frequency with 2. If double sideband modulation schemes such as QAM, ASK, PSK or OFDM are used, this results in a maximum symbol rate of W symbols S, and in that the modulation efficiency cannot exceed Newton per hertz. If digital single sideband modulation is used, the passband signal with bandwidth W corresponds to a baseband message signal with baseband bandwidth W resulting in a maximum symbol rate of 2 W and an attainable modulation efficiency of 2 newtons per hertz. Example 3, a 16 QAM modem has an alphabet size of M equals 16 alternative symbols, with N equals 4-bit symbol or BPCU. Since QAM is a form of double sideband passband transmission, the spectral efficiency cannot exceed N equals 4 per hertz. Example 4, the 8VSB modulation scheme used in the ATSC digital television standard gives N equals 3-bit symbol or BPCU. Since it can be described as nearly single sideband, the modulation efficiency is close to 2 newtons equals 6 per hertz. In practice, ATSC transfers a gross bit rate of 32 bit S over a 6 MHz wide channel, resulting in a modulation efficiency of 32 sixths equals 5.3 per hertz. Example 5, the downlink of a V92 modem uses a pulse amplitude modulation with 128 signal levels, resulting in N equals 7 bit symbol. Since the transmitted signal before passband filtering can be considered as baseband transmission, the spectral efficiency cannot exceed 2 newtons equals 14 per hertz over the full baseband channel. As seen above, a higher spectral efficiency is achieved if we consider the smaller passband bandwidth. If a forward error correction code is used, the spectral efficiency is reduced from the uncoded modulation efficiency figure. Example 6, 
if a forward error correction code with code rate one half is added, meaning that the encoder input bit rate is one half the encoder output rate, the spectral efficiency is 50% of the modulation efficiency. In exchange for this reduction in spectral efficiency, FEC usually reduces the bit error rate, and typically enables operation at a lower signal to noise ratio. An upper bound for the spectral efficiency possible without bit errors in a channel with a certain SNR, if ideal error coding and modulation is assumed, is given by the Shannon Hartley theorem. Example 7 If the SNR is 1 times expressed as a ratio, corresponding to 0 decibel, the link spectral efficiency cannot exceed 1 per hertz for error free detection according to Shannon Hartley regardless of the modulation and coding. Note that the good PUD is normally lower than the maximum throughput used in the above calculations, because of packet retransmissions, higher protocol layer overhead, flow control, congestion avoidance, etc. On the other hand, a data compression scheme, such as the V44 or V42 BIS compression used in telephone modems, may however give higher good PUD if the transferred data is not already efficiently compressed. The link spectral efficiency of a wireless telephony link may also be expressed as the maximum number of simultaneous calls over 1 MHz frequency spectrum in a langs per MHz, or E MHz. This measure is also affected by the source coding scheme. It may be applied to analog as well as digital transmission. In wireless networks, the link spectral efficiency can be somewhat misleading, as larger values are not necessarily more efficient in their overall use of radio spectrum. In a wireless network, high link spectral efficiency may result in high sensitivity to co-channel interference, which affects the capacity. For example, in a cellular telephone network with frequency reuse, spectrum spreading and forward error correction reduce the spectral efficiency inch per hertz but substantially lower the required signal to noise ratio in comparison to non-spread spectrum techniques this can allow for much denser geographical frequency reuse that compensates for the lower link spectral efficiency resulting in approximately the same capacity over the same bandwidth using the same number of base station transmitters as discussed below a more relevant measure for wireless networks would be system spectral efficiency in bit HZ per unit area. However, in closed communication links such as telephone lines and cable TV networks, and in noise-limited wireless communication system where co-channel interference is not a factor, the largest link spectral efficiency that can be supported by the available SNR is generally used. System spectral efficiency or area spectral efficiency in digital wireless networks, the system spectral efficiency or area spectral efficiency is typically measured inch per hertz per unit area, inch per hertz per cell, or inch per hertz per site. It is a measure of the quantity of users or services that can be simultaneously supported by a limited radio frequency bandwidth in a defined geographic area. It may for example be defined as the maximum aggregated throughput or good put, that is summed over all users in the system divided by the channel bandwidth. This measure is affected not only by the single user transmission technique, but also by multiple access schemes and radio resource management techniques utilized. It can be substantially improved by dynamic radio resource management. If it is defined as a measure of the maximum good put, retransmissions due to co-channel interference and collisions are excluded. Higher layer protocol overhead is normally neglected. Example 8, in a cellular system based on frequency division multiple access with a fixed channel allocation cell plan using a frequency reuse factor of one quarter, each base station has access to one quarter of the total available frequency spectrum. Thus, the maximum possible system spectral efficiency inch per hertz per site is one quarter of the link spectral efficiency. Each base station may be divided into three cells by means of three sector antennas, also known as a 4-12 reuse pattern. Then each cell has access to 1 12th of the available spectrum, and the system spectral efficiency inch per hertz per cell or hertz per sector is 1 12th of the link spectral efficiency. The system spectral efficiency of a cellular network may also be expressed as the maximum number of simultaneous phone calls per area unit over 1 MHz frequency spectrum in E MHz per cell, E MHz per sector, E MHz per site, or M2. 
This measure is also affected by the source coding scheme. It may be used in analog cellular networks as well. Low link spectral efficiency in per hertz does not necessarily mean that an encoding scheme is inefficient from a system spectral efficiency point of view. As an example, consider code division multiplexed access spread spectrum, which is not a particularly spectral efficient encoding scheme when considering a single channel or single user. However, the fact that one can layer multiple channels on the same frequency band means that the system spectrum utilization for a multi-channel CDMA system can be very good. Example 9, in the WCDMA 3G cellular system, every phone call is compressed to a maximum of 8500 bit s, and spread out over a 5 MHz wide frequency channel. This corresponds to a link throughput of only 8500 slash 5 million equals 0.0017 per hertz. Let us assume that 100 simultaneous calls are possible in the same cell. Spread spectrum makes it possible to have as low a frequency reuse factor as 1, if each base station is divided into 3 cells by means of 3 directional sector antennas. This corresponds to a system spectrum efficiency of over 1 a, 100 a, 0.0017 equals 0.17 per hertz per site, and 0.17 slash 3 equals 0.06 per hertz per cell or sector. The spectral efficiency can be improved by radio resource management techniques such as efficient fixed or dynamic channel allocation, power control, link adaptation and diversity schemes. A combined fairness measure and system spectral efficiency measure is the fairly shared spectral efficiency. Comparison table, examples of numerical spectral efficiency values of some common communication systems can be found in the table below. NA means not applicable. See also, board, CDMA spectral efficiency, channel capacity, comparison of mobile phone standards, good put, radio resource management, spatial capacity, throughput, orders of magnitude. References, Sergio Benedetto and Isaio Biglari. Principles of Digital Transmission, with Wireless Applications. Springer. ISBN 0-306-45753-9. CT Bunia, Information Technology Network and Internet, New Age International, 2006, page 26. Lalchand Godara, Handbook of Antennas in Wireless Communications, CRC Press, 2002, ISBN 0849301246, ISBN 9780849301242, Lal Chand Godara, Handbook of Antennas in Wireless Communications, CRC Press, 2002, ISBN 0849301246, ISBN 9780849301242, Lal Chand Godara, Handbook of Antennas in Edgier Euro Enhanced Data Rates for GSM and TDMA 136 Evolution, Ericsson Review No. 1, Qsera's iBurst, TM, System Offers High Capacity, High Performance for the Broadband Era. ABHTTP, www.homeagilentcom editorial JSPX. CC equals in and LC equals N and CKEY equals 1,905,163 and it equals 1,905,163. HTTP, www.xtmetexcomlte advanced.